guys welcome back to my channel this is speeches October if this is your first time here to my returning subscribers I would like to welcome you back if this is your first time here please consider subscribing don't forget to uh, click the subscribe button down below and also click the notification so that you are notified whenever I upload a video we are actually seeing this video on Christmas Day but Merry Christmas to you guys Merry Christmas 2021 this is the Christmas uh, look I'm going to be rocking today on Christmas Day at my Christmas dinner. Um, I decided to come up with this look using, I have options of using the Juvia's Place palette. I know you guys have probably seen the video that I posted with the Juvia's Place I Live I Love Eyes palette. But this is the, uh, I bought a couple of palettes for the holiday and I decided to use the Pamagraph um laps mother shape celestial odyssey palette i also have the uh, charlotte tilbury palette that i'm hoping to create an eye look for new year um, and so i decided to do my second christmas eye look with the uh, pamagraph palette now this palette you can purchase it on sephora or also purchase it on pamagraph labs website this is the uh, inside of the palette and it has a huge mirror. This palette is similar to the palette that she released last year, Christmas. I'll have the video link right up here so you guys can see. Um, the shadows that are in here, I think it was her first thing when she did that, not I think, it was her first thing when she came up with this palette last year with the same, with the similar um, idea and she repeated it this year and i think this is a good idea because her eyeshadows are extremely expensive they are um 125 dollars for each palette and i think those palettes have either 10 eyeshadows in there but they are all special formulas and so when she came up with the idea of uh, having a 78 dollars palette last year and then also this year i'm like okay we in business okay i think antipad is going to keep bringing us the good good so right now i don't need i don't want any of our eyeshadow palettes i think going forward the palettes that i'm going to purchase is going to be the holiday palette i don't know if there's any palette that's going to really encourage me to purchase one because i have most i have most of her palette not most but at least probably you know i have some of her palettes i should say and i don't think there's anything else that that's very uh, encouraging to me and so I don't think I'm gonna be buying any of her releases other than the holiday release but of course I will I'll purchase uh, some products to be able to come up with a full face um, eyeshadow look or full face panograph look but anyway the palette came in this beautiful packaging you know anti pad gave us packaging and I am a sucker for packaging I love good packaging and I just love the color red also and that she you know have this in this nice packaging with a huge mirror in here um this is the mirror in here i still haven't taken out the sticker so that's why it's not reflective but these are the shadows and the shadow that i used on my eye i will have them listed down below um sequentially i will be listing the uh eye shadow uh, eyeshadows that I use based on the steps that I took on my eyes so that you guys can follow exactly what I did and I also on my face I also have the Pamagraph Labs face primer and I also came with her foundation um, now I remember why I use this foundation one time and never use it again because it's not a full coverage foundation and I know that I suffer from acne and because it's not a full coverage um, it's not even buildable coverage as you, as you say and so when I used it I didn't really fall for it I love the texture and everything I was in love with the texture but as far as how the color payoff on my skin and coloring all the pigmentation and you know hyperpigmentation on my face I didn't like that and so I never used it but this is a really watery formula and so what I did was to color correct my um, problem areas with my L'Oreal Infallible 4 Wet 24 Hour Concealer and uh, the shade I used was 420 and then I went in also as a primer I went in with my Milk Cosmetics Hydro Grip Primer just to get a grip effect on my face and then for concealers today I used her primer graph um, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer and I use the shade, I can't even see the shade on here. 
but I think I used the shade uh, number 20 um, 20 and the foundation is number 23 just in case you have my complexion and you want to match it up um, but I also to brighten my honor eye because this concealer is kind of like my skin tone and so um, I use the uh, Too Faced Bond This Way Multi-Use Coptin Concealer in the, in the shade Butterscotch and that's what I use to blend on my eye, my forehead and uh, my chin area and so what I did was to also go in and set my face with the Pema Graph, um Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Setting Powder and the shade that I have is medium deep 4. When I purchased this, it was too dark, I never ever used it but today I decided to kind of like bronze my outer face with it and also went in with my new love which is the Dior um, Forever Cushion Powder and so I used my cushion powder to set the other areas of my face and then for blush I went in with my um, Rare Beauty Love Blush is their liquid blush that's what I'm rocking on here and then to uh, highlight I also came and added my Pama, my um, Juvia's Place um, loose highlight loose highlighter and I am not sure what the shade is there's not a shade name on here but it, it says the Juvia's Place loose loose highlighter and this is the packaging that it came in so that's basically for the highlighter to contour my nose I went in with my MAC Jacobs um, 106 Tantalizer Omega Bronze and then after everything I'm going to use some other products but to set the on the eye here uh, to just kind of set it to bake I use my Laura Mercier uh, translucent loose setting powder in the shade honey this is her new shade and that's what I use and so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into this eye look my brows for my brows I did go in with the benefit cut brow which you guys know I love I just want to quickly uh, go through creating the eye look so that we don't eyeshadow primer I prime my eyelid with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer base I mean you guys see the pigmentation I don't know if you really want to want to find a touch from me because yes and tip I didn't play okay you you guys know her for her pigmentation okay, I'm just blending this into my um, crease area blends are really dark it's a dark brown shade and that dark brown shade is this one right here and the name is Saturn sunset I'm not putting any mold in there I'm just gonna blend the crease make sure that it gets blended out purple per, uh, perfectly I'm noticing a little fallout so I'm gonna add more setting powder underneath my eye because I don't want any mess and then I'll go in with my Sigma E40 and I'll take this pink shade right here the pink shade right up here called uh, Nocturne just stop it off a little bit because there's a lot of kickback coming from that and I'll use that to blend in my crease I'll use that to blend in my crease you can see it is blending out really well so I'm just blending a sweeping motion also and a windshield wiper motion okay I sweep circular motion windshield wiper motion okay so that looks good um, it's blending out really well and I'm just going to bring back the brush that I used earlier so that we don't you know lose track of that shadow I'm gonna put put it back into the crease just so we can get that definition we're looking for so now I'm gonna take my Sigma E57 brush and that's what I'm gonna to use to cut my crease I'm going back in with the from Anastasia Beverly Hills just gonna tap that right in and cut the crease and I'm just cutting my crease halfway just bear with me I don't have my contact lenses and I can't see but I'm trying to uh, make do as you see I can see well everything is blurry right now but I'm just following you know what I do because I do it all the time all right so the crease is cut so I'm going in with this lilac shade right here and the name is sun rose ember no nope, I'm Lotus Love Lux. The shade Lotus Lux. 
is what I'm using. And I'm going to go into my mobile lid and apply that shade. Oh, wait, one minute. So I'm going to take this uh, NYX multi um, tasking mixing medium. I'm going to apply that to my lid because I'm wanting these eyeshadows, eyeshadows to really pop. Now that the pigment is not so uh, potent, but I just want the eyeshadow to pop. Uh, pop. Okay, so I'm just going to blend it out so that it does not um, crumple up. Okay, now I'm going to go in with Lotus Lux. There is no fallout from this shimmer shade. It's blending out very well. Need a little bit more to intensify it. So next thing I'm going to go in using another flat brush. I'm going to go in with the shade Saturne Envy, this one right here. And I'll just come and pop it right here. And I just go back in, making sure that um, this color don't overshadow the other one. So I'll apply it back again. To so top of this look, I'm going in with the shade Nirvana right here. I'm just blending out the shade in the crease so that it's not hard. I'm going to line my eye with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Liner. And I do not know the shade, it's just a liquid liner. So the lashes I'm using is from the local, it's from the drugstore, and this is the uh, Velux by I Envy Real Mink Lashes. The uh, style is Rich Peach. Okay, so lashes are on. I am going to do the under eye. I'm going to go in with the shade uh, mauve shade up here. This mauve shade that I use in my um, upper corner. I'm just going to use this brush without any shadow to blend. Whatever shadow that's under there that it has on it is what I'm using now. So I'm going to use my MAC Cosmetics um, Feline Coil Eyeshadow Pencil that I have been loving back again. I'm falling back in love with this eyeshadow pencil. Okay, so I'm going to take my uh, Fetish Eyes Mascara from Pat McGrath. Finishing powder. I'm using my Dior for finishing powder today. I'm using my Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder. You guys, since I purchased this powder, I have never put it down. I've I've been using it since then. I'm just gonna swirl it in here and dust off everything on my face. It's just a light finishing powder, so it's not going to uh, change anything but it's going to give it a very nice um, finish. I'm going to bring it down my neck a little bit. Dust off everything underneath the eye. Dust off the forehead. You feel me? Get the uh, lip off. And the lip balm I use today is this Essence um, Lip Booster. It moisturizes the lips and really nourishes it. I like that. For lip pencil, I've been loving the uh, Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade 608 Limitless Brown. 
I'm just going to place that in the uh, other layers of my lips. I think the lip liner can use a good sharpener. And for today's lipstick, I will be using my new Rouge Dior 220 Beach Couture. Love the, love the shade. This is how it swatches on the back of my hand. And this is how it looks on my lips. Smells amazing. Makes me want to chew onto it. And to top it up, I'm using my new uh, MAC Cosmetics. The lip gloss in bittersweet. I think bittersweet is a good combination for this lipstick. Why would you want to take this eye look off? I don't know. I'm just into it. I really love it. And finally, for uh, Morphe released their um, Jumbo Continuous Setting Mist. And because I haven't used the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, I decided to get the Jumbo. I'm extra special. I have to get Jumbo. All right, let's um, set this face, shall we? Mm. I'm going to take my bronzer again and bronze the other side of my nose. I couldn't do that because you know I had to connect this side to my eye look and I didn't want it to be messy so I left that out okay and I'm doing I'm going to highlight the bridge of my nose just right here and in the middle just like an exclamation mark This is the finished look. This is how everything turned out. How do you like it? Leave your comment down below. Let's start a conversation. And let's go over the um, products that we use quickly. Um, I'm not sure. I think I probably misplaced the footage for the uh, cushion powder that I used today, which is this uh, Dior cushion powder. This is my second time using it. I love the packaging. I love the color. The shade that I pick is deep. It sets my entire face for my skin and I'm really in love with this powder. I'm not sure where I have been living. If I've been living on a rack, I'm not too sure, you know, I'm not sure where I have been and I haven't purchased, I, I did not purchase this uh, powder soon enough, but I came across it and I just love it. And I mean, what got me to the whole deal thing? I tried this powder the backstage of face and body powder and I was just crazy about it and I'm like okay I'm gonna try more of the powders so I went and tried this I also have the bronzer which I actually used today it's the bronzer in the shade 08 deep bronze um, I used that to bronze today also um, and then of course I'll talk about the other products on the beginning so let's now focus on the uh, eyeshadow palette which of course um, from the video, from how the shadows blended out, you know that I don't have any complaints. You know that I'm okay with this. You know that it's Pamagraph, and you know that she delivers quality. So, need I say more? 10 out of 10. And that's all I have to say. If you have not tried this palette, I recommend that you go and try it out. Um, also, keep an eye out for her discounts because sometimes she does the 20%. So just sign out for her newsletter and you might get a 20% or 30% or what have you. I know the last Christmas she had a 30% off if you purchase over 100 or if you purchase over 250, you are getting 30% off. And so you can keep an eye open so that you can purchase the palette or any other products that I use today that you would like to try from her line. But her products are amazing. The only thing that I can say about the foundation, 
the foundation uh, the foundation is a sheer foundation it's not a full coverage foundation so that's just my dissatisfaction about it but other than that it is a very good formula I'm wearing it right now it feels like I don't have on any foundation at, at all because of the um, thinness of the foundation I believe and also I guess because of the formula too um, it's, it's lightweight pretty much and with everything else that I use on my face if it was some foundation I'll feel like I'm wearing a pound of cake on my face so that didn't happen and I like the, the uh, I like the way everything you know kind of tie in together and if you have any questions if you would like to see any videos from me please let me know like I said I'm gonna be uploading uh, one or two videos so please keep an eye for it I have the Charlotte Tilbury um, what's the name of the palette instant eye palette smoky eyes are forever is the name um and this is the packaging so keep keep a look out for that and with that said i will end this video here so that i don't ramble too much you guys have a merry merry christmas and a prosperous new year i wish you guys um the best in this coming 2022 and i wish that your goals you know that your goals that you are laying out for the follow for the upcoming year um, that you are able to achieve those goals likewise myself I have some goals that you know I'm working towards for the 2022 for 2022 and I'm hoping to achieve those goals and exceed them abundantly and I'm praying to the almighty God to stand by me step by step and guide me through the process that I'm trying to uh, um, undertake and so with that said Merry Christmas I love you guys so much thank you all for your support the entire year um even when i didn't film uh some people were asking me where are you what have you filmed um and when i filmed the love that you gave me i really appreciate it and i just want to say thank you for a good 2021 and if you are wondering just in case you are wondering from what hair is on my head this is dress your hair this is from my hair company dress your hair on Instagram follow me on Instagram uh, when I talk about goals I'm working towards launching my website and it has been a struggle for me for some reason but um, I have placed it into the hands of God instead of trying to do it on my own and not uh, look up to him so I'm looking up to him to come to guide me through so that I can uh, so that I can complete my website that's the first goal that I have for 2021 to launch my website and get it out of the way so I can move on to other stuff and so yes prayers up I'm gonna keep praying for that to happen yeah check out dress your hair on Instagram if you are interested in trying my bundles or if you are interested in uh, me making a wig for you and also if you are interested in me making any wig style video for you guys let me know in the comments down below let's grow this channel 2022 I'm going to do my utmost best to work hard so that my channel can grow. I'm going to work hard to bring you guys good content. And so let's move forward with that, okay? Cross my heart. I love you guys. Bye.